Hello guys, my name is Natasha and welcome to my channel Only In Your Mind. This week is another Animal Crossings video. This character is Blather the Owl. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll be posting more from that game, Animal Crossing, so don't forget to come back and check out those other characters. But if you want to see how I did his face paint, just keep watching. So this is a step I usually forget to do, but it's very important because it does help. And it is doing a outline with a white eyeliner. And with a number two round brush, I'm using some Mehron yellow and doing his beak. And then with this finger dauber, I'm gonna make his eyeballs. And for this face painting, I went online and found a reference photo. So now it's time for his cheeks. And I am using the tan from the Fusion um, Little Split Cake and it's called Furry Critter. And I'll be using that too and I'll show you what that looks like in a little bit. But I went back to that number two round brush that I had with the yellow and I just mixed some white Mehron Paradise paint with that to get the lighter yellow. And I'm just gonna fill in his face area. And then here is his little bow tie in green and this is another Mehron color too. For his little sweater, I went ahead and just started doing little um, diamond shapes, which I could have just done lines and did kind of like a cross pattern, but I guess I took the hard way of doing it. And the color that I'm using here, it's uh, Mayron White with that same number two round brush. So all the face paint and the products that I use will be in my description box below if you wanna check it out. To finish off his sweater, I'm using the same color that I used for his cheeks from Furry Critter Fusion's Little Split Cake. Here it is. And then I'm also using the brown for his head area. So for the feathers above his eyes, which are basically his eyebrows, it's consistent of three lines and they taper down. Here's the largest one and then it's gonna be another one in between that. The original line that I made the beginning so I'm just gonna fill in his head and then basically outline his head area with the brown from the fusion furry critter cake that I just used so I finally got around to actually editing this video this video and then I have two other videos from Animal Crossing that need to be edited but I have been so busy crocheting a new crazy hobby that I have started and I usually post all of the crochet items that I make on my Instagram if you want to check those out but right here I will be doing his wings I will be erasing this too because um, for the eye design I needed his wings to be a little bit higher. So with this fusion rainbow cake called Mermaid Splash. So with this petal sponge, I'm gonna put the darker color on the outside of my eye, which happens to be the blue, and the lighter color in the inside of my eye. Now I am making a butterfly shape with this petal sponge. And as a face painter, it's always nice to have a staple mask design to go along with the design that, you know, you would do so this design here if you've seen my other video with uh, Isabel another face painter called loaded up does and this is basically her design which consists of teardrops and swirls and of course with some inspiration from her and other face painters who have a staple mask design that they use alongside their other designs I will definitely be coming up with my own but um, I can't wait until I can actually get out there and face paint again. So it worked out perfect with his wings because those teardrops worked out as being like feathers. I'm gonna do some teardrops on the corner of my eyes and throw some dots in there to close up this design. The petal sponge, I'm gonna use the lighter color, put it on the bridge of my nose, and then I'm gonna add some teardrops. This is also something that when you do princess crowns really look pretty to add these teardrops on the bridge of the nose. The same tan from Fusion's Furry Critter, I'm gonna do the dots. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of that color in his mouth too, 
with the brown from that um, fusion furry critter I'm just going to outline his vest area. So since I'm outlining I might as well go ahead and outline his eyeballs with some Mehron Gray and then go back in with that brown to outline his beak. I decided that I was going to use this Petro Blue to outline the whole design but I didn't like it. And um, anyways I didn't really care for it but you'll see I'll add a different color later. Now for his eye pupils I use the end of my face painting brush dipped it in some black and then did those dots for his eyeballs which using tools to make circles are always um, helpful so right about here I figured that I didn't care for the blue and I went into the fusion um, mermaid splash yeah that's what it's called mermaid splash and I used the green to outline around the blue and I think that really did tie everything together and of course I will be using some Mehron black for some eyeliner and then a third outline would be with the white and if you are doing this for a face paint it's probably not um, good to do so many outlines but I just did it for the sake of this video so it's about that time to say goodbye you guys are amazing thank you again for watching me do another Animal Crossing face paint thank you guys so much for sitting back and watching me do another really cool Animal Crossing video this one is Blathers the Owl I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys come back to see all my other um, characters from that video game. Now I do have Isabelle's link in my description box below if you want to check her out. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave me a like if you want, subscribe to my channel. You guys be safe and I'll see you guys on my next video.